Hey, it's Rohit from RYC and today we're going to learn how to 3D print from file to finished products. This is tutorial assumes that you have a 3D model that you have, may have made yourself or downloaded online from a site like Thingiverse. But once you have that model, we're going to walk through how to go from the model to a final 3D print. To start with, we need access to a 3D printer. This is our, the Anchor Make M5. This is what we use at the center to, uh, to teach our students about 3D printing. Um, you can use any 3D printer that you want. They range from prices from $100 to thousands of dollars, but you, um, you don't have to buy one yourself. You might be able to borrow one from a friend, go to a library, or rent one from a makerspace nearby. Uh, once you have access to the 3D printer, you need some kind of filament. Filament is plastic that's been um, extruded into these little thin tubes and wrapped around into a spool, and you can use it as a 3D print. There's different types of plastic out there. Do some research in terms of what your, your needs are. If you're building structural components, use something stronger. If you're just building figures like this for showcasing, you don't need anything strong. You just want the color that you want. Um, there are also multicolor 3D printers out there that you can load with multiple filaments and it'll print out different colors like the Bamboo P1S, for example. After you have access to your 3D printer and you have a filament, you're gonna start by loading our model into our slicer. Our Anchor Make uses Eufy Make Slicer, which is based on Prusa Slicer, but your 3D printer will have its own slicer that they recommend using, or you can use an open source slicer as well. Once you have it loaded into the slicer, what the slicer does is it takes a 3D model, the STL file, and turns it into layers. The layers are important because 3D printers print in layers. It starts from the bottom and then prints another layer on top, another layer on top, until you have your final product. Um, once you have your model loaded into your slicer, you have to do a few things. The first thing you want to, think is you want to set your infill. Your infill is how dense your product is. So if you want something stronger, make it higher infill. You need something that's just for showing, you don't need to waste that much plastic. After that, you got to set up your supports. So for example, right here between the legs here, there's no, nothing underneath this printed section and you need something to print because remember, 3D printers print layer by layer. So if there's no layer underneath it, we have to build up supports that go from here up here so we can print up. Um, those supports are later removable. They'll snap right off of the print and you don't have to worry about it. Uh, once you have your infill and your supports set, you can go ahead and click on print and your printer will start printing. 